Hi, Dave. Hi, Paul. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing fine. I really appreciate you joining us for this faith chat. And, uh, you know, I wanted to talk to you as somebody who's been around the block a, a time or two. You've been in Christ for over 60 years. And um, I, I thought you may have some interesting perspectives on this uh, coronavirus and uh, the impact of the world. How, how has this uh, the shutdown and the virus affected you? It, it hasn't been uh, that much of an impact on, on my life. Uh, to have Roberta here as a as a support and encouragement, and uh, you know we're we're staying close to home. It's, it's a bit of an in, inconvenience about the amount of movement you can have in your life, and uh, and a bit of the, a bit of isolation. You know you miss the contact, the human contact that you have with your family or other brothers and sisters. But other than that, we're we're very we're very blessed. Yeah, that's good. Well, that's good. We are we really are blessed, and. Uh... Um, even though some people are really suffering in, in the time. But, um, you know, I don't think any, anybody's ever seen the complete world shut down like this and be impacted by an event. And when we think of Bible prophecy and our hope and our faith, you know, we wonder, is this the time of the end? So what do you think? Is this, is this prophecy coming true? Is this the time of the end for us? Well, on the broad picture, I think we should uh, consider that we have a wonderful hope and we have the assurance that God is working in our lives and that he is watching over us and we should be thankful for that. On a prophetic view, I know I've had some conversation with brothers and sisters who think that this is the end and this is the coming of uh, the Messiah, but I think that, and that would be wonderful if that was the case, uh, but I wouldn't go that far. I, I think that we should be cautious about what we predict because we've had predictions in the in the past and predictions lead to disappointment and that is not what you would call a faith building experience so i think that we're what we are seeing is a, maybe a, a precursor to what might happen when the lord does appear that we will see similar circumstances they may not necessarily be a virus they may be a, a variation on that there may be financial collapse it could be a war, but we will see signs in the, uh, uh, of, the, of the times when that happens. So I think that we should rely more on our, on our faith. Um, so do you think that, um, that it, you know, if we see this virus come and go and then the things settle down, um, that uh, it, it could be a, a risk or a challenge to our faith? I think it's possible. I mean, if you put it, like I said, if you think that this is the, the absolute end and it doesn't materialize, then it, it could lead to disappointment. And uh, I think that we should be watching the signs and, and, and be a witness to the signs. Um, and with, there's this aspect, we, and we used to talk a lot about it years ago, and I haven't heard people talk about it so much lately, but there had to have this idea of preparation that we have to be preparing ourselves for the coming of, of, of the Lord. And this might sort of st um, stimulate that uh, in our thinking, this virus, you know, to, to say, well, we can see what this can happen. Now, what's the next step? And are we prepared for that? And is our faith strong enough to deal with what comes next? Yeah, I think that's a really good thought that, uh if we think of this as an opportunity to prepare ourselves to grow and cultivate our faith and to uh, prepare ourselves emotionally for some difficult times, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a great gift from God that we have this opportunity uh, to, to, to do that, to, to, to grow our faith. Um, do you think the, um, you know, our, our, our faith is not founded on signs of the times though necessarily, right? I mean, no matter what happens, um, this really doesn't change our foundation of faith, does it? No. I mean, I think we have to remember that, first of all, that God is in control and, and that he has provided us with, uh, say, common sense in this particular situation. And then we should, be, and we should do things that are, that are sensible in terms of this, this virus. But 
I think the basic thing that we have to re have is that we have faith that God is in control. You know, and, and when you think about it, um, there are lots of things in the scriptures that, that indicate that God is in control and that we can have faith in that. And um, a couple that I, was, uh, that I always go to is one is, is that the Lord Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. And the second is, is that, and that was a miracle. And the second miracle was that Israel as a nation has been reestablished. So we know that they're sort of, they're rock hard, the part of our foundational beliefs. And that's what gives us faith because we can, and there are faith building experiences as we, and when we think about them. So we keep that in mind. We know that God is there and that he will fulfill what he's promised. And if he, if he raised his son from the dead and if he reestablished his people as a nation, he's going to, he's going to bring about the kingdom as, as, as we uh, conceive of it. Yeah, and that's something that, uh, that, that, that we've seen before our eyes, you know, the growth and build up the nation of Israel um, in, in, uh, in this generation. So that's something that really is amazing foundation to our faith. So what does our faith do with this foundation? What does our faith do for us in these uncertain times, in your, your, your opinion? Well, I think, I think that they can give us comfort. Uh, they can strengthen us. They can strengthen our resolve. I think one thing we have to remember when you think about these foundational beliefs, what we believed before the pandemic and what we believe now, it hasn't changed. The only thing that's changed is we have this inconvenience of, of the pandemic. But, you know, our, our, our faith and our beliefs are they're the same. They're not, they're not changed. And so that should, I think, give us pause and, and uh, encourage us and strengthen us. And our hope is the same too. I mean, our, our vision of the return of Christ and setting up the kingdom of God on earth is still the same, isn't it? Yeah, that's, well, that's a very important point because it made, it made me think of the a verse in Proverbs where it says that where there is no vision, the people perish. So if we, you know, if we allow our faith to, to sort of falter or wither, uh, that vision goes away. And so if we keep that vision always before us, we know that we have some some hope for the future, and I think that I think that's a, that's a very comforting verse, and it, it, it and it, you know, it's not only comforting, but it's a, it's it's kind of a warning to us, you know, like it's it's important that we maintain our faith in in all the things that we know to be true, and, and particularly in the protective hand of our own our heavenly Father. Yeah, having that vision out there in front of us really guides us through through the storm, doesn't it? It, it? it certainly does. Very important. And not, it not only guides us, but uh, as you, I think you mentioned, it, it comforts us knowing that God is in control and he, he, he lives up to his promises, even though it may not be on our timeline. Yes, for sure. <laughs> um, there's another uh, series of verses in, in Hebrews uh, chapter 10, and uh, starting at the, at the 35th, 35th verse. And I, I think there's some really good advice in, in these verses, and, 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 and it gives us encouragement to do what we know the Heavenly Father expects us of, of us. So it says, uh, and, I'm, and I'm reading from a little bit different version, but uh, so do not throw away this confident trust. And it's interesting that word trust can, is also uh, can be translated boldness and in two or three places in scripture it talks about boldness of faith so we can you know if you take this idea of confident trust and and how that relates to our faith that we have confidence in our faith and in what God has said he says and then it says remember the great war it will bring you if you have that attitude and then it goes on to mention that we have to have patient endurance you know as we await await our our um the coming of, of Jesus and, and the, our expectations and whether they'll be fulfilled. Um, he says, and, and then we are to continue to do God's will. So we have this working partnership, you know, God is there and he's going to do what we need to have done, but we have to do what he wants us to do. So, it's, you know, so we have this working partnership. Uh, and, and then it says, then you will receive all that he has promised. 
I mean, and what, yeah. what, what better thing could that be to, to bolster your faith and to know that what God has promised, uh, he's going to fulfill. And then, and then it says, and then we're sort of tying back to what we were talking about, whether or not uh, this is the time of Jesus coming, uh, the, this pandemic. It says for, for in just a little while, the coming one will come and will not delay. So even though we don't know what it is, we still have that promise. You know, I mean, you have to remember that even Jesus said that only God knows the day and the hour. Even Jesus didn't know when he was coming. So, and then, and then it goes on to say, and the righteous, was, the righteous ones will live by faith, or the more common version of that is the just shall live by faith. And, but he says, I will take no pleasure in anyone who turns away. Uh, again, uh, uh, words of encouragement, also a, a word of warning. Uh, but we are not like those who turn away from God to their own destruction. We are the faithful ones who will be saved. So it's uh, it, 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 you want to contemplate those verses in in Hebrews ten. Is there there? Yeah, it's packed full of uh, yeah. encouragement, isn't it? And and uh, not 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 just encouragement, but practical encouragement, how to go forward. And I'm it, sure, I'm sure that uh, when our Lord does return, it will seem uh, sudden and uh, a, a very short time. Uh, looking back, even though right now sitting at home in our in our locked in our homes it it seems a long way off i like the way that ends though it says we are the faithful ones who will be saved uh, that like that that sort of says it all what we're trying to achieve in in each one of our lives that's a, i think that's a great thought and a good place maybe to end the faith chat on that high note so dave thank you so much for for sharing your thoughts and uh I hope it's helpful to a few people who uh, may be struggling through this time. So thank you very much. It's been my pleasure, Paul. Take care. God bless.